Okay, so what's going on with neutron decay? Now, neutron decay is one that's not easy to show in a lab because neutrons are not ionizing radiation, which means your average Geiger counter is probably not going to pick it up. But it is still a very important type of um, radiation, and we'll talk about it. So here's an example. We have helium-5. Now, helium-5 is very unstable. It's going to want to decay. It could go through beta decay, which would give you lithium-5. One of the neutrons becomes a proton. But lithium-5 is also extremely unstable. But it can go through a form of decay where it simply kicks out a neutron. So the neutron comes out. There it is. And the neutron has a mass of one, but no charge. Now, when you take that out, okay, five minus one is four, two minus zero is two, it stays helium, but now it's helium four, which is the most common type of helium, very stable, and it's happy. Now, the one thing about neutrons, you gotta be careful about it, they do have pretty good penetration power, and it also has another thing about it. That neutron can lodge itself into the nucleus of another atom. And if that atom's unstable, like U-235, it can split it. And that's the thing that really gets chain reactions going in nuclear reactors or nuclear bombs. It can also be dangerous because, for example, if you're exposed to neutron radiation, it can get into your nuclei of your atoms. And that makes it, in many ways, one of the most dangerous forms of radiation because although gamma you know, hits you as incredibly direct, um, destructive, as soon as you are removed from the radiation source, the radiation stops. And whatever damage has been done has been done, but it's not doing more damage. Alpha, beta, gamma, you remove the radiation source and you're removed from it. With neutron radiation, those neutrons embed themselves in the um, in the nucleuses of your atoms, and now those atoms in your body are radioactive. You can go away from it, but now you are the source of radiation. And those unstable nuclei, which have a few too many neutrons, are going to go through radioactive reactions, and you are now the source of radiation. So that's one of the things that makes neutron radiation a little more dangerous than some of the other forms. But anyway, that's what's going on. That's how you find your products. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.